Alright, time for a Udyr game. Today I'll be playing against a Wukong here, which will be a fine matchup for me, honestly. Not too big of a deal. Technically, he could fight me early game, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah. If you if you catch Udyr in his jungle at like level 3-ish type of uh, region, you are fairly vulnerable. So that could potentially be a problem, but I guess we'll see about that. But yeah, starting off Q here, I'm starting on a single target camp. If I would like do a Raptor start or anything, you want to start ult first uh, or R, I guess. Or technically doesn't really have an ult, but I'm probably going to be calling it an ult fairly frequently. So, <laughs> so it is what it is, I guess. Two hits into a Q, into two hits, into another Q. But you want to basically make sure you get the hits off from the uh, from your passive thing, right? So. Alright, take ult second. If you d start ult, then obviously take Q second. Uh, Elo of this game, by the way, is we're talking Platinum 3-ish region, so you are aware. And also, 70% uh, of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. So, I mean, if you watch regularly, be sure to check if you're subscribed, if you enjoy my content. Uh, subscribing would mean a lot, you know. Hitting the like button as well, if you're interested in that. And yeah, I mean the video let's just do this drag it out and then we'll take w here for sustain if i have to worry i don't have to worry about anything here good i'm just gonna use my ult full or like my ult and power thing here to finish this camp off quite quickly there is a dot here so the ward has disappeared the question now is did this guy nope he's mid okay cool we're fine I was a little bit worried for a split second there, because he definitely could have gone for some kind of invade. But he didn't, so we're good. Try to here switch as much as possible for like two hits, then switch, etc. Had to uh, use your passive as effectively as you can. I'm gonna hold on to my passive now. The, like, uh, to the empowered version at least, so I can... Use that to potentially fight the Wukong here. Make sure I take all my abilities. Should have walked at this guy. I'm not gonna reach him with that ult. He's too fast with the ghost there. Flash ghost is too good there. Wukong's gonna show up soon, so I guess I should be leaving at this point, I suppose. Depending on where this guy shows up. Let's go in with a shield. Oh, he's bot lane. Wait, that means his blue is up. It's not. He started blue buff. Interesting. That Tristana is dead. What? Okay, cool. Guess I'll take that one. Yeah, the double summoners used on the Trendemir there was slightly unfortunate. I We could still dive this, though. I definitely want to dive this. If you just push out the wave. As we saw the Wukong bot lane very recently. So all he has to do is just shove here. I'm going to have to hold wave in a second. Show myself. Shield here. Hold the wave. This guy needs to hurry up and push the wave. Preferably quite quickly. That's really bad actually. Uh, yeah, well, it's it. Yeah, okay, well, I guess the Frenemir this way does lose out on a, quite a big wave, so I guess there's that, but really hoping for a little bit more potential aggression there from the GP to make a play happen, honestly. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's get that. Boots, and I can buy another one of these. It's decent. Not like I would have preferred killing Trendemir, but I think my... Uh, my GP probably played a little bit more scared than he really really should have. He also didn't push the wave that quickly. He actually was hesitating quite a bit, which slowed down the situation a lot more. Uh, looks like Wukong is going to be looking bot, I would imagine. So we're going to hit that and we're going to check the dragon at the same time. Nothing. Okay, my camps are up, so we're going to go for that then. Okay. 
Just need to make sure I be quick about this. So I need to keep up jungle tempo here. I've tried a lot of... Like, I've used a lot of time going for the top lane play there for an extended uh, amount. And I didn't get the kills. So that definitely cost me a bit. My bot lane shouldn't be dying here. But they definitely are going to have to be careful. Is the Wukong. Oh, GP ult. GP. Oh, he didn't hit Lulu. The shield came in and she hesitated too much on other champions there. Okay. We see Wukong bot, so we're instantly going to move towards his topside cans because we know they're up. We also know his blue's going to respawn soon because he started that, if you know what I mean. So, want to punish here as much as possible. To instantly take as many of these counts, punish him for the bot lane gank. Switch between every two autos. I think the Gromp's probably too greedy here, so I'm probably just gonna do blue into Scuttle to be safe. Also, also don't know where Trendemir is. The Wukong can definitely come out of base very soon here, so I'm gonna have to be a bit careful, you know. I think the Gromp is slightly too greedy here, so I will not be going for that one. Trendemir's moving down now. He just warded. But Lane got a kill. I'm gonna clear his ward, so Trenimer's gonna have to be scared. I won't be able to go for the gank here, but I can just go for my red here, or for my um, frogs into the red respawn, and then maybe the potential Rift Herald after that. Should be good. Uh, I say a low kill game for the most part here. I am gaining a lead very slowly, though, here on this uh, Wukong. I'm going to have to run top because Trendy might dive. Trendy ultimate, and he is dead indeed. I think I killed a Wukong here very easily. Make sure I ult right away. Perfect. Very good. I had to run up there because you saw the Tranemir go aggressive and a lot of Tranemir players in a situation like that will just hard commit to uh, to a dive, right? So if I am there to like clean that up, that's good. So I have to skip out on my red buff. Just a bit of map awareness on that one. I don't think he should be able to fight me. Slowed. Would be good. I'm gonna go for the fight on him. I think if the GP doesn't absolutely troll me, we should be good here. Can I hit the plant, please? Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, I was a little bit close there. Stun him right away, and an ult, and I'll finish this guy off. Perfect. I was unable to save my GP there, unfortunately, but I still think the play is worth it. A lot of worth good job type of situation because you can see a top lane as well gp has a massive advantage here i don't know if he makes it actually if he, if he makes it to this wave that is huge but i don't know if he does random misses out on more though i think he makes it for the most part he might miss a little bit but not that much i need to play towards this dragon very soon here kill this use the rift out recall and then go for the dragon we're gonna get the demonic on his back as well which is perfect the Monic Rush on Udir is still very much worth it because you're not lacking in clear speed. The only thing that really got nerfed about the Monic is the clear speed. Uh, so for that reason, it's still just simply the best damage item on this champion. And you're not looking for clear speed with it, right? The big thing. Instantly rotate down. Okay, wait for him to go in there and then we can go for this. Uh, if you want to try to chase somebody, always try to like go in with E first. And then right as your E is basically about to time out, you want to press the ult to get the slowing field to potentially hit them. Which is good, because then you have easier chase potential. So. Let's make sure I get that real quick. So I just empowered Q just to be safe. Gives me a higher chance. Almost level 8 here. I think Caitlyn halved a little risky there, especially with Senna clearing the ward. Clear this, then we go for the bot play here. Max W second, we go for the wall. Just 
stun ult for the slow. We get, hit all of them here. And then we ult here again. Try to catch him, stun him. You have to kill the Caitlyn. Perfect. You saw that a perfect example of what I meant. We're gonna use the um, E to walk as close as possible and then we ult when we're in range so we can slow. Which will mean that we are easily able to catch them. We have 8 out of 10 KP, which is obviously huge. That dude just died. I don't have a fresh red buff. There is a small chance here that the red's here. Let's see. There it is. Yep. As I thought. Just basing that on information. Because if I had a fresh red buff, I wouldn't have checked this. But because I didn't, and I figured it should be about up since he started topside for a clear. This makes sense. Should be able to take whatever. Uh, you have to be a little bit, little bit careful here, potentially. Good damage. I need to back because I have quite a big recall right here. I can buy tier two boots alongside my uh, Magi's. So we're gonna go for the steel caps against that team because they have a lot of auto attack based damage. And then the Magi's for the 10 stack upgrade, and we're very strong. We are extremely strong right now. Alright, so we have an entire jungle rotation to do, which will result into then being able to do the Rift Herald. Probably, maybe Dragon instead of Herald, because they do spawn at about the same time. I guess we're going to have to see on that one a little bit. Do that. Keep moving with E through camps. He's gonna walk away, that's fine. I'm gonna keep clearing my camps in that case. We see the bot lane go for a play. My bot lane seems to be winning though, so that's good. Keep an eye out on mid for a potential Wukong gank. Yeah, beautiful bot lane is winning. Very good. Keep using E for speed here as well. I think gank-wise Wukong is top. Yep, there it is. I said it right as he was about to show up. Okay. TP should be safe though. Might have to shadow mid lane here a little bit, potentially. See if Silas walks up at all. I don't really have anything else to clear right now, so I definitely have some time to look. Wukong could be going mid lane out of the top lane situation, so if I'm standing here, this should be quite good for Vex. Regardless. Just patience here, really. I'm gonna go bot lane. There is a high chance to plant up here. It's not okay. There's a there's a ward. I'm gonna just walk this. Oh, I did not mean to click my empower there. That's bad. Well, I guess we'll see if that hurts me at all. Perfect. At least it's a kill. I did ruin my Empower there, which was quite bad. That could have uh, definitely hurt me a bit. Because having the Empower there would have probably guaranteed me a kill. Or easier, at least. I'm gonna go this way. No, don't go that way! Oh, they should have walked separately from me. I think that would have been smarter. Use this. Build Empower. He's already dead. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna quickly go take the Rift Herald here, because I have some time now. Wukong is dead. We have 40 seconds on the dragon afterwards. So I need to make sure I keep that up. Oh my god, the eye. Can you stop this, please? Thank you. 21 seconds on dragon. Look question is do i rush it down or do i not okay they have it uh it's a quick one so i suppose i will do another one after this so i'll see you guys in two seconds all right time for a udir game today i will be playing against a trundle which is a pretty reasonable matchup for me because of ap damage that i do right Rundle steals attack damage, but it doesn't really do that much against an Udyr because of a lot of AP damage output. You're going for an R build here as well. So, yeah. I'm gonna initially clear towards top. We're just gonna start both side clear towards top. See if I can get like an early kill on the Akshan. That'd be kind of nice. The draft on our hand is pretty garbage, uh, unfortunately. 
I was able to, like, they, they picked Trundle relatively early. I was able to pick Uder into that. Because, I mean, it's just a pretty good matchup, right, in general. Obviously, he can steal my stats, which is a little bit less ideal with his ult. But for the most part, when it comes to, like, early 1v1s, I have a pretty good time. Uh, but then my team drafted essentially full AP around it. All right, so that's a reasonable amount of AP damage. We have flat and cannon. So that does kind of suck. Because this guy could just, like, get Spirit, Visage, and Force of Nature. And then he's extremely impossible to kill on top of his ult. Oh, I kind of briefed a little bit. I should have prepped my Q faster. I missed on two hits now. Yeah, but it, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to smite this. It's fine. For the most part, for your clear, just make sure to uh, every two hits switch your form as much as you can. You're going to take a bit of damage here at the start for sure. But as soon as you pick up your W, you'll be able to sustain yourself throughout your jungle very easily. And potions are not really needed because of that. We're going to get pretty low here off these three camps initially, at least. Try this a little bit, so I take a tiny bit less damage. There we go. With the W now, we are easily able to sustain the rest of this. Won't be an issue. And yeah. Uh, also, another thing, uh, about 70% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. Uh, if you watch my content regularly, be sure to check if you're subscribed. And subscribe if you would like. It is free. You can always unsubscribe later if you want. But uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Right here, we're keeping the consistency of switching every two hits. On the red, I want to do the empowered Q. Finish the clear off here. That finishes that. I'm gonna smite here because I'm just gonna go for the top gank and I'm just gonna do this as quick as possible right now. Let's see. Pretty good clear speed. I should be able to get in a position for a gank here as long as I loop around. Cannon can go in now, that's perfect. This guy's a goner. Cannon positioned himself correctly there for the block. Gonna push out the wave because this guy has no, has no teleport. So for me, pushing out here makes a lot of sense. Yeah, teleport. I mean, I could consider not doing it. But this gives Cannon a colossal advantage. I don't really care for any of his last hits. I just want to uh, make sure they get the wave in there. Good start for Cannon there. I knew Akshan was most likely going to shove that in initially. enough times we saw the scuttle here we instantly realized trundle was then in the area so it makes sense to just ping right away right do this actually against that team i can easily afford to do this so i'm gonna go at these boots right here if i need to switch them later i can always still switch them later but i feel like this is fine okay <laughs> they kind of just ran into the guy there that's interesting Trundle's definitely going to be both side here. I can definitely run towards both side here. He's going to be having cleared that. Question is, is he going to be in the bush here right away? Which he is. I have backed, so I'm actually much stronger here. Okay, that ended up a lot worse than I thought, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I say stronger. I, say I didn't think about that, because for a second there, I thought I bought a Blasting Wand. That's a bit of a grief on my end, I'm not going to lie. I would have been much stronger there, and I would have done tons more damage, but I really should have just ran... I should have let him recall. He was at the end of a recall, and just pressed Ghost to catch the... Uh, catch the Ferris. I just hard griefed that play completely. Uh, Kali could be dead here. Ooh, that was lucky. Yeah, no, I am definitely mis misplayed that. Heavily, even. Not even slightly, just heavily. Complete grief. I let him recall, clean it up, or just ran straight for the Varus instead of trying to hit the Trundle. That would have been much better. Mm. I'm not happy about that one. That was a big mistake. I mean, I have a Tristana support as well, I guess. But yeah. I, I agree that it is what it is. My bad. Mystique. I'm just going to finish this clear. I can potentially look for another top play. That's a one-for-one -one trade. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it, though, but I think that's going to 
be quite annoying for the uh, Vladimir. Extra kill. Plus, I mean, of course, like the Trist not being bot lane then forces the Kaisen to a bad spot. I'm gonna run straight top because I think this guy's gonna look for something. I don't know where he's gonna be, but. Stay ahead of him here so he can't go anywhere and clean him up good and was able to interrupt him there perfectly we saw him like slightly on the map going down there there's probably a dragon loss for that full play though but it is what it is i'll accept the fact uh, that i lose dragon here couldn't really do anything about it anyway especially in the bot lane situation currently uh probably gonna lose my blue here as well as bolt scuttle so we're gonna look to see if i can trade for some top side camps at least very aggressive. I think with Trundle being bot there, that's going to end really badly for my bot lane. I mean, I'm like very certain that this guy is just clearing my blue and stuff, so I'm just going to take his top side two camps. This camp could be like very risky if you're not too sure where the enemy jungler is, but... In this case specifically, I think I should be fine. After this, I can go back to top for another gank because Cannon has built. Which should allow for a pretty free one, hopefully. The wave is going to push up and hopefully then... As he ults, we should be good. We walk up to him here. Perfect. Good stuff. And now we're gonna on my way bolt. Yeah. I don't know if he kills that. He might. Oh, he didn't. Um, that's unfortunate. Got this. Ooh, spicy hard engage. That should work actually. That's a lot of. Yeah, that dude's dead. I think Tristana should have jumped on Karma there. I don't think jumping out makes much sense, because that was... Okay, they got him anyway, it's fine. I'm going to run straight bot lane here to potentially cover. I'm going to hit the plant here for vision as well. Now we're good. Okay, my clear is then up. My bot lane just won the fight. Please don't walk back for the wave, just recall. Oh boy, they're going to risk it. Okay, that, the enemy mid laner is relatively strong. My entire jungle clears back up, so I'm going to just keep my tempo going here. I was initially planning to go out of base and go straight for a bolt gank, but they basically won the play right away, so I guess, you know, don't have to do that. Uh, likely, okay, this is bad. Does he go for my red here? I'm going to stack up my ult here, or my, my passive, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna just go top lane, I think. If I can get there quite fast, hopefully. Oh, he's dead. Alright, well. I uh, might be able to get the Trundle, perhaps. He's playing. His blue is up, actually. I'm pretty sure his blue is up here. Yeah, there it is. I gotta, I'll be patient a little bit. He's probably gonna walk for this, right? There he is. Gonna do that. Yeah, he's just losing mid lane. Like, I, what, what do you want me to do? Go for the mute. He's just lost the lane. I mean, obviously, Tristana fed a kill, but I don't think Trundle has done anything to impact that lane, so he just lost 1v1. It's not like it's very favorable for me to gank for Vladimir either, because it's not like Vladimir has any type of CC or anything, makes ganks against Akali especially pretty hard. Because Akali could just press her Stroud, right, and I can't even hit her. So, the combination of that is just gonna be generally a time waster for me. That's why I'm not really looking for it. And if he just loses lane, then it is what it is. I mean, maybe Trundle has done more in mid lane than I think he did, but... I don't think so, you know? I'm, I'm not sure. Cannon shows up here, this should be good. Yo, Cannon! Can we not make this illegal move from this guy, please? you're joking oh man he's so he was so late though like actually uh
If it was slightly faster, that would have been really nice. I think I got Tron No, I didn't even get Tronal ulted. I got ignited. I see, I see. Vladimir or something else. But where are you going? Run the other way. What? Oh, he's he just made it absolutely impossible for me to even try to save him. Go FF, he says. All right. I'm assuming he's talking about Vladimir, but I don't even know. I cannot go for the Herald here, unfortunately. Zero and four, that's quite a problem. Uh, my best play is probably just go for this into instantly rotating towards Dragon. Go for bot lane play. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a call. He's very strong at the moment. Quite a problem, I would say. If I can uh, sneak out a play here, this guy's probably going to walk back forward, which he did. Perfect. Oh, they allowed him to walk past. That's unfortunate. He, the, the Kaiser could have ran into him there, which would have pressured enough to the point where he couldn't do anything anymore. He most likely would have just died. Kali's going to rotate here. I can't stay. I'm dead here. Oh, please let me get out of that one. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm alive. I'm not alive. I'm going to die to Akali probably, but... Make sure to sidestep here if I can. Vladimir's not going to rotate here, so I can forget about that move. Yeah, Akali was quick there. I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to die. Okay, I'm not going to die. I'm going to lose Dragon, though. That is a guarantee. I'm going to empower a W here for some healing. I'm going to go back to bot lane now if I can. This dude can probably... This, this dude is most likely dead here. Okay, at least got to clean that up. We're not going to touch that wave, obviously, because it's good for the uh, situation here. Hmm... I think my best bet is just to do Dragon right away. I mean, I could get wrecked on this one, but I think this is my only chance, really, to get it favorably. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna commit to this. Screw it. Well, at least, but I'm dead here, guaranteed, because the flat's never gonna rotate. Yeah, he could have walked after that, perhaps, done something, but he most likely wouldn't have done that anyway, so... It is what it is. I just committed to the dragon and took it. I wasn't worth a shutdown there, so um, it's not bad to just trade my life for it, if you know what I mean. It's fine. Got hit by that. Alright. I mean, at least she dies, I guess. That's a big shutdown going to, to Tristana. Hopefully that is some worth something. I'm, I can't, I'm happy enough to trade for dragon the way I did. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I did not mean to empower that. Um, if I was worth a much bigger shutdown, then that would have been a different story. Definitely, I might not have made the play uh, that I made. If I was worth like 700 gold, for example, I probably wouldn't have traded for Dragon there, because that would have not been worth. Then I take Dragon, but I give 1,000 gold to whoever kills me, and that would just be really bad, obviously, so don't want to do that. I need to clear my camps to the point where I get my uh, Blue Smite upgrade here. Why did you just take my camp, my guy? What the f are you doing? All right, fine, go then. Let's go. I swear to God, he just ab like he absolutely griefed me on that one. I'm dead here. He hit me, but he's gonna die now. Yeah. Dude, I don't know why Triss did that to me. Like, taking my camp like that's just rude. She lost it on purpose. Like, come on. Wow, she committed to that? Really? Yeah, the enemy team just really, really threw with that, mo with that move at least, which is nice. It's a lot of summoners down for the enemy side now though as well, so that can be uh, quite favorable for me. 
think I'm just gonna go bolt and clear the wave at this point. It's Vlad surrendering. But it's not even Vladimir. It's cannon. Interesting. I think I can get bolt turret here, perhaps. That would be kind of nice. Get some money out of this. Some attack speed here. And I'll finish the turret off. Should be fine. Perfect. I'll get the wave there as well. Duck show is going to be 2,000 gold. Kaisa is dead. Has she walked up too far. Still don't have my blue smite finished, which kind of sucks because that means I'm much slower here. This cannon is losing his mind. I mean, I don't blame him that much because Vladimir is clearly trolling, but you know, it's going off a little hard there, I would say. Finishes this, and I might be able to go mid. I mean, he is pretty scary. Kali, I mean. Ferris as well, I suppose. Oh, you can do I actually didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you can block that with the uh, with Spirit. I guess the more you know. If this guy walks up and top here, I can definitely kill him. This is definitely something I could look for. Need to wait for this. Oh, I might have to go mid. He's going to walk to mid most likely, and I'm just going to cut him off. I'm going to just run in here. Dude. I think I'm fast enough to just run out of this play. Come on. I got this. I got this. I'm alive. We're chilling. Holy moly, I played the hell out of that one. I was a little bit scared there because my uh, team kind of backed off randomly suddenly. And that got me a little worried, but... Okay, I made, 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 that made... Uh, you take dragon. Please. No, you have to be kidding me. Okay, well... Uh, minus one dragon, I guess. I'm just gonna go for Rift Herald here. I don't know if- I don't think I have a chance of making it to this dragon at this point. I think it is just gone. Wait for Rift Herald here. It's not that bad, because we're both on one dragon, so it's really not that big of a deal, if you know what I mean. Not like, uh, it's gonna be full soul point after this. I do have a lot of gold, so backing is very favorable here. Oh boy! I'm gonna die here. Okay, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I need to leave. Probably you sustain. At least we killed Trundle, so it means we don't lose Dragon. That's very good. I have so much gold right now. I am absolutely rich. Let's take these and I'll take my Magi's as well. Go for this thing. Need some magic resist desperately. Don't like the fact that they're all going top. Why all top? Is basically the question to be asked here. Uh, we have an open 37. I don't know about this. Because if they're all going top, then the risk of losing dragon becomes extremely high here. And I don't want that. Please. <laughs> like... Please, Vladimir, actually just rotate down. I need you, my boy. My, my boy. 
Dude, this guy just pathed like a maniac. Yeah, this dragon's going, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, man. Why are you taking my camp, buddy? Just don't. You are literally the support. If both Cannon and Vlad go top there, we insta lose Dragon. There's nothing I can do about that. Like, it's just kind of over, right? My cards are pathed into, like, them as well with no vision. So, she just dies. Kind of a problem situation, really. This guy's dead. Take it out of this one, wait for the cannon, stun this guy. Come on. There he goes. Perfect stuff. Good. Play that as slow as possible. Try to tank as much as possible, but also just like... The slower I can play that, the better, of course. Wait. Wait! Cannon! Oh, where is my team? Oh my god, Kaisa. Like, they were all in a good good enough position to follow that. I can just stun him. Cannon can then follow up, stun him, and he dies. I guess I shouldn't have greeted. Uh, I had no backup there. I actually thought, genuinely thought I was going to have way more backup in a situation like that. But I clearly did not. Actually, I should go for... Um, I'm going to get this thing here and get the frozen heart. Damn. I thought I had way more backup there. Like, Kaisa was still, like, in a good position. Vlad was, like, somewhat in a good position. And we know where he was, right? So I thought we had a good play, but we definitely didn't. At least that wasn't worth his shot down. Hmm. Guess I, I guess I ended. He did quite a bit of damage to me there. Blade of the Rune King alongside the uh, Kraken Slayer hurts. Hmm. Oh well, my bad. Too deep on that one. I should have just let him live. They just recalled. Lost my Magi stacks. That's the most painful part there. I'm gonna have to smite this, aren't I? Yeah. Ah, but I knew it. Where's the cannon ult? Can you please use it, my boy? What are you doing? I'm gonna die. I'm literally dead here. Dude, it took this guy 30,000 cannon, man. I, don't, I can't be asked. That dude literally didn't use his ult. Like, what am I supposed to do there, right? He ran up like an absolute maniac looking to ult and he didn't click it ever. And then they get to engage on me as a return and I just die. That sucks. That one's painful. Okay, well, I mean, this is gonna get very interesting here. Kali's level 15 as well. They have a lot of, like, max HP damage, which is gonna hurt me quite a bit. Tristana's taking all of my camps as well, which is disgusting, because that costs me a lot of overall XP and gold. And she is the support, building, like, an AD carry on top of everything else, so... It's really not ideal, losing all that gold. Like, I think I've lost a significant... Like, yes, 65, so yes. I've lost a significant amount of my jungle camps to this guy. I'm gonna have to play this slower. I don't know how else to uh, go about this. I think all my camps are done, aren't they? Wow. Yeah, Tristana took all my bot side camps, and I believe maybe Trundle took my top side camps, but that's very painful. Right. I am going to have to play these fights as slow as physically possible and actually wait for Cannon to go in with ult. Because last time I was hoping he did, but he never did. So I cannot afford to go in first again. I need to wait for him to actually go for something. I'm going to take the bolt wave here. I, I need something. Just a few seconds on Dragon. Oh, this is not good. Please, man. Yeah, no, this is gonna be really bad. Can I do? Oh, my team is never gonna walk forward. I don't think they'll they'll ever they'll ever do anything. So I guess I'm just gonna have to play extremely scaredy cat mode. Probably gonna push for bolt turret, I would imagine. Or actually, they're gonna go for dragon here. 
We lose this dragon, I believe, because Vlad's literally super low HP, not recalling right now. So it's going to be too late. He's not going to have enough HP to fight, so we don't have a chance for dragon right now. Yeah, it's, it's just not going to happen. Like, look, Vlad, Vlad's recalling now, which is just by far too late. Because then we just, yeah, there's nothing we can do about the dragon right now. That sucks. This is my level up, so I definitely want to finish the camp. a troublesome situation this i will say this is definitely going to be a bit of an interesting one as long as i keep my tempo going i just need frozen art and stone plate and i'm nearly impossible to kill i think internal ult can definitely mess me up big time so could be a problem but hmm I'm scared. <laughs> like, Vlad's just chilling on bot lane. I bleeding all my camps. I, mean, I think I'm just gonna go top. I don't, don't even know if I if I can kill this guy to be honest. I think he has quite a lot of damage on me. For many years, I thought I was cursed. He walks into me here, perhaps that would be nice. I don't know where he is. I'm gonna be patient. See if he maybe pops out at cannon or something luckily like that. That would be nice. Oh god. That dude just committed to this place super heavily. This one is dead, thank you. That is at least something. A big shutdown that's worth the trade 100 that's the type of plays i'm looking for right now those mistakes are very beneficial to me i need my team to do something here we don't have cannon ultimate though i suppose so I'm gonna get Varus ulted if I'm at that. Okay, I sidestepped it. We're good. Hmm. Yeah, no, no real engage opportunities there, unfortunately. I mean, Vlad's gonna come back now, so we might have a chance here. Really? This dude's dead, right? Come on. Oh, come on. How is that not a death, man? Jesus Christ. My team does no damage. This is ridiculous. Oh, dude, that, that's unbelievable. He didn't die there. It's crazy. There's missed his ult again. Please don't tell me this is like... They do apps. You, oh my god! They have literally zero, zero point zero damage. This is ridiculous. I don't even know how much space I have to create for them to do anything. Like they just have no damage. We have no support either, so that really sucks. Like having that karma shielding and stuff is very beneficial for them as well. Man, it's a seriously rough. really is boy oh boy oh boy and the game's not over yet i suppose but like not like they're gonna gain damage anytime soon right so it's, we're gonna be in a repeat situation of what just happened over and over again i think hmm interesting
Baron is probably going to be gone soon, I would imagine. Oh, Tristana. Oh, boy. Okay, man, I guess she's alive. And it's not going forward, so no cannon ult means no play. We're, we're, we're way too heavy on IP as well. Like, you can clearly see, they're just... This guy is just stacking magic with just zero armor. <laughs> it's a problem for me because I do so much less damage to the play. To any type of play. I can't really kill Trundle myself. Oh, my flat's just dead. Positioning here is... Very poor. Yeah. Yeah, this game is not doable. This is ridiculous. That hit me? Wow. At least this way I can kind of stall out the wave a bit. Prevent them from doing anything here. The more time I can stall, the better at this point, you know. If I make it to these bushes, I should be okay. This at least prevents the enemy team from pushing in, so I can hold the wave and stuff. Use that for speed. Shoot myself. Just wasted a cannon ultimate. I mean, what can I do? This lands in a kill, that'd be good. Okay, at least one of them died, I suppose. I don't know. I, I stalled them as long as I physically could there, but... These two are not rotating towards top either, so they actually just get to make this play as well for free. That's crazy. Done him. This guys, thank you as hell. Is he gonna help me, or am I just gonna have to sit here myself the entire time? <laughs> Alright, cool. At least I was able to do something about this. Thank god. I need Tristana to hurry this up. I can tank for quite a while, I just need somebody to get here, and Tristana does a reasonable amount of damage. Dude, I am very hard to kill, as you can see. Like, I'm definitely being able to put in the work at this point. Which is good. That's good. The big shutdown on the objective there as well. I have no desire of fighting him there. That would be bad. Alright, that's decent. I can hopefully get my uh, stone plate soon. And then with that, I should be able to do something, I hope. I'm gonna sell my Magi's. Actually. Get stone plate here. I'll switch these for steel caps as well. To have that. And then I will buy another cloth armor, I suppose. This way I'm just gonna be. Oh, no way. You just suicided like that, man. Really? You. I did. Oh, my, all of my effort is just down the drain. I swear to God. Uh, wait, I guess. That, 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 I mean... Dude, you cannot... That you cannot make that up. That positioning is awful. Oh my god. He, that death is so bad. I think that actually just straight up loses us the game. I'm not even memeing. I, just, I don't think we uh, can defend. I mean, might be able to defend, actually. This is a decent amount of poke damage to the entire enemy team.
The longer we can stall here, the better. This is fine. He just ulted me, I believe. If I can just go heal myself now, Vlad will be back and then we'll have a fight opportunity, I hope. Please, Cannon, I need you to do something here. It's gonna be good damage. That's Ferris ult down as long as my team doesn't die to that. That's good. Dude, go in, please, man. Why does it take you 30 years to cannon ult, man? Come on. Okay, my team won. Thank fuck. Flat, like, yeah, end. Just end. They win here. We have Baron as well. I had the perfect opportunity for an opening there to create space. All I needed was Cannon to go in slightly faster, and I would have survived that way that play as well. Push. We have 30 seconds to end the game. Holy moly, what a game. I I oh my god. That was a rough one. <laughs> well, as long as my team doesn't, like, throw this, throw this, and actually just pull on pushes to end. All right, cool. Jesus Christ. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the, end, in the end game stats. Sorry. What a game. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 36.2k damage, which is a lot, really. Uh, Vlad out-damaged out me, but it's not very surprising because when it comes to like mid to late game teamfight stages, no matter how many times this Vlad messed up this game and inted and ran it down and whatever he did, if it comes to super late game teamfights, Vlad gets one ult off, he can easily get like 10,000 damage in a teamfight, if not more. Like, it's a ridiculous amount, especially that last teamfight as well. He landed a very nice ultimate, which ended up cleaning it up. So, yeah, not very surprised that he did this much damage, but he was definitely a problem there for a while. At true damage at 2200, damage to objectives at 37.1. It's basically, I just tried to take whatever I could get. Because I was not in a favorable state this game, especially with mid lane losing so badly. And we have healing done at 24.8. It's a good amount, definitely not too bad. Uh, flat and both Trunnel and Flat out healed, but that's not surprising. Their kits are very much built around healing. Damage taken at 53k here which is a really good amount. I, I created as many openings for my team as possible, trying to frontline, trying to create things. And then on top of that, we have self-mitigated for 127.7K. So that basically means I took 200,000 damage. So, uh, a little bit less, I suppose. I took like 190,000 damage. 180,000 damage, perhaps, yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage taken, man. 180K damage taken. Plus, the, of course, the second highest damage on my team. It was not even... Like, it was actually pretty close. I definitely had the top stat for this until the last team fight, I think. Uh, but, yeah. Gold earned at 15.7. For the runes, Conqueror healing for about 650, but it obviously the adaptive damage is the bigger one here. Last time, 1500 damage. We have tenacity here and then tenacity from unflinching. 203 seconds. Jesus. And then conditioning skills well with uh, Stoneplate and Jock Show and stuff like that. So that's really nice too. But uh, yeah, that is it for Udir. Pretty struggle-ish game, I will say. But hope you hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.